Hello and welcome back. We are still in the same place. And um, we're still overlooking the city. And we see a Protectron. Um, hmm. I've never seen a Protectron in here. That's... That's a new one on me. Um, and they're doing something. I think we'll mind our business and uh, not worry about that, though. We kind of have our own agenda that does not involve uh, robots. See if there's any food in here. I think there is a little bit of food. I'll make sure you get a hat so you can eat it, son. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to loot absolutely everything out of here right now. Okay, let's get in the Super Duper War. It's really quiet uh, in Lexington. And, uh, that Protectron, I'm assuming he was probably killing ghouls, but I don't know if he was hostile or not. I wasn't even going to go over there. Uh, not to mention the fact I've never seen a Protectron just wandering through Lexington. And here are the ghouls that Preston warned him about. Uh, I think the pharmacy is that way, so. That food may help in making. Uh, I bet they are. There we go, dirty water. Okay. Uh, all right, let's see what we can do here. Um, we have four attempts. It's gonna be a four letter word. Okay, then. Uh, let's unlock that. And let's release the hounds. All right.
Okay. I'm the one that summoned you, dude. Ah, there's some pretty more money down there. All right. Now, again, I'm not really worried about a complete clear of uh, all the materials in here. Where's this idiot at? Where did you freaking go, dude? I may put that on one of my settlers. I'm not going to wear it myself. I can tell you that much. The reason being, those things get irritating. Uh, like you'll go into stealth mode and you'll go invisible and you can't see your pit boy. Uh, so it can get it can get a little irritating. Um, trying to use those. All right, and yeah, I think that is the pharmacy. There's the magazine. Oh, yeah. Looks like there's a Minuteman on the counter. I may get some more dirty water before we leave. Um, okay. Get all the good stuff. Oh, hello. Now, a pack of cigarettes will sell. Okay. Uh, pharmacy, little disappointing. Not gonna lie. Little disappointed. Uh, however, I can see it being looted over 200 years. So, you know, it is what it is. Take the bottle. I didn't want the eight ball. Uh, and uh, am I over encumbered already? Probably. Uh, that can be fixed, though. No big deal.
Yeah, well, we'll, I already got some dirty water, so the bottles are fine being scrapped. That helps out a little bit. Okay, all the way back around now. And we just want to grab as much food as we can find. We're kind of here for food and beverages. Did I search that other... Uh... Well, I don't see anything in it, so I may have or it may just not have anything in it. Okay. All right. Moving on. Oh, and now we're carrying too much. Okay, so as you can see, scrapping the stuff is good, but uh, you're still going to have a lot of weight on you. So let's uh, let's go through and drop off some of this weight. Where did I get twelve missiles? I don't know. That's that's probably a lot of the weight with those twelve missiles because we didn't have a lot of junk. And even though I have a mod that makes missiles weigh less, they're still pretty freaking heavy. And we didn't read that note. <clears throat> I mean, we know what it is. It's going to send us somewhere to pick up a 10 millimeter or something, you know. Okay. Uh, still two and two. That's good. Let's get rid of that and that. Uh, send our dirty water out and those fancy lads. Any food we can plant will be good. Uh, these will give us rads. That needs to be cooked, so we'll send that out. We don't need that. We got nine of those. Let's get that back down to two. We'll keep the four quantos for now. Um, okay. Uh, we only need one of those. Very good. Now we did pick up some. Yeah, two of those. All right, and we picked his weapon up too. Oh uh, no, give me that back. Thank you. Give me that back. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to these for right now. Okay. And we're gonna send that to Sanctuary. That's two we got out. Yeah, that is two that we got out. Let's, let's do a save. Finish going down the aisles because uh, we're after, like I said, food and beverages. And yeah, I'm going to be able to cook and stuff. I have cooked, but um, food is scarce. So we're going to we're going to have food where we can get. Whoa. Pow. Did you just go pow? Did you just go pow? I'm going to have to look back. I swear he just went pow. Okay, Batman. Uh, plastic is used to make jet. So we're going to pick up some plastic. Silver, as you know, we're selling. Uh, now I probably just lost that bottle. Uh, I saw Gwyneth. I saw Gwyneth. I did. Where did I see it? Yeah, I probably lost the bottle. Oh, well, it'll be fine. We're going to grab that. Yeah. Don't want your rock. Uh, I think we got all the food now. 
Uh, we got our magazine. We raided the pharmacy. It was a disappointment. Hey there. Um, that dude's gone. It's not like Nathaniel would have known he was there, though, so. Whoa. Where the hell did you come from? Nathaniel is not afraid of ghouls, but he is afraid of ghouls that come out of nowhere. Um, those are no fun. They cheat. What? Take all that. I'll take all that. It's like the pharmacy, they just lock the stuff up. Uh, Baby Rail has plastic, that has screws, lead. Good, good, good. And here's another Minuteman. Which Preston warned him about that too. Uh, I'll definitely take a lightweight metal leg. All right, so we should get some more action down this hall. Maybe. Whoa, dude. Get out the way. Okay. That was a jump scare. Not going to lie. So, <clears throat> these two came back, this guy and Emma, Josh and Emma. They found Anthony's body. They were going to get him out of here. Anthony's probably the guy in the pharmacy, I assume. Uh, and they wanted to get his body out, but the Farrells came back, and they died trying to get him out of here. Uh, yeah. All right, we are level 10. Uh, I think, because we're going to be 13 for that. Uh, we do need to pick up armor sometime or another, but I would for right now. I want to put another point into rifleman And we will pick up armor uh, but At the moment let's have a blood bud blood Wow, let's have one of those and Let's get some water. That's a quick save All right Let's 
got some things we might could use in it. Don't need a paintbrush, thank you. I can use that. Silver any day of the week. Dog me to like a teddy bear. Um, that's not actually bad. Uh, There's food in the toilet. Okay, let's look at that shoulder piece. Our arm. Yeah. Uh, increase the size of sweet spot while picking locks is three and five. And there goes my phone again. Uh, it is a left arm. And all, all we have over here is a leather left. So we're going to do that. We are going to take the safe cracker very nice very nice um let's see if there's anything in here all right can't get the lock uh that says i need it silver locket always um well, luckily, I'm not going to make you clean up the mess. Okay. All right, we are almost done with Super Duper Mod. Do I want to go back up and get dirty water uh, while we're here? Let's let's fill the rest of our bottles up with dirty water. Where was that at? Suddenly, I don't remember where that fountain was. Can we use the sink? No. Where was that fountain? I know there was a, maybe it was right inside the door. Most grocery stores put the fountains up front. Yep, right there. Okay. It was only three, but I can live with that. We managed to get some food and some some other supplies out of here. So let's get the hell out of here now. Now he sent Emma to the loading dock. I probably just saved. I don't know. He sent Emma to the loading dock. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I need to discover Grey Garden and the Cambridge Police Station so I can take the APC there, which means we'd have to fight all the ghouls and talk to the Brotherhood. So, 
Not a bad thing. Uh, we're not going to explore Lexington completely today. But as a matter of fact, we might just leave because I do want to get to Cambridge. Um, and then get all the way back to the APC and then we can start using it. It can also be a mobile storage unit for now when I'm when I don't have enough salvage beacons. I could build more, but eh. not dark enough in here it should be darker I'll take the wooden block what the hell okay and here's Emma here is Emma I can sell them all the time. Uh, Emma. And you just stayed here. know he wanted to recover the body um, and that is commendable uh, there is such a thing as coming back with a bigger force to recover the body all right now while I'm thinking about it let's get outside the door and I'm going to get this this is for the Huber studios but I want to find that gunner note where's that gunner note right there I keep forgetting to read it. Uh, got the intel, Walden Pond, blah, blah, blah. He has the gun, a pipe, just like the contact said. So these gunners were going to go assault Walton Pond for a pipe gun. Okay. Or a pipe. Not even a pipe gun, a pipe. Okay. Well, you know, we're going to have to do it to get it out of our quest log. So, all right. <clears throat> Uh, let's let's have a look at that dumpster. We're going dumpster diving. Nothing. Okay. Now that we're back outside, let's get a little bit longer range weapon. I need to do some healing. And honestly, just hearing Preston's story about, you know, Last of the Minutemen and all that, and uh, watching the last stand of these Minutemen here, um, it does not make Nathaniel want to join the Minutemen. I think those are my salvagers on the way back. Huh? Yeah, those are my salvagers. Huh? Huh? <clears throat> Excuse me. Because Nathaniel is having the same thoughts that most people that play this game have. The minute, minute, week. Um, now, further on, he may help them out and build them up. Uh, 
uh, right now the brotherhood is going to look really weak too actually because it's just going to be the recon squad but he can relate to a recon squad I'm coming back later for you. Now let's watch for our car that's going to fall off the bridge. I think it's going to be the blue one. There it goes. Yep, it is the blue one. That for some reason, every time you top the hill, it falls off. There's a crash vertebrae. He's going to want to check that out for sure. Um, but we just got a mysterious radio signal. So. Rec Reconnaissance Squad Gladius. That's military. Uh, we have a problem right there. Um, but unlike other people that blame Bethesda and Todd Howard, I'm going to say there's a mod that's doing that. Uh, let's turn off the radio. That sounds like military to him. So he's interested now. But Preston told him about this place and said he could possibly get some mute fruit from here. You don't like walking around? You can go home. Yeah. Let's avoid the game show host robot. And let's just grab these mute fruits and leave. Now they said Cambridge Police Station, that's over there. Uh, it didn't work for you. Duh. There. Hello. <clears throat> oh. winter is coming it's lovely i love winter but the end of summer is always that summer cold thing every year never fails okay mm, hey we're only at 30 minutes we can do cambridge Since we did pick up the radio distress call from some military squad. At least they sound military. We'll see. Uh, hello? You almost blew yourself up, dude. I can hear gunfire. Uh, 
Hello. Let him get a little closer. I shot him in the hand. <laughs> your radio distress call um why can't i say that here um i have no idea why not Okay. Well, let's loot everything first. I think that has silver in it. Um, I already proved my worth, but uh, whatever, dude. I'll take all the baseballs. Thank you. Something else just blew up because that blew up first. What time is it? It is almost 5 p.m. I would have to go through the entire police station to come out there. So let's uh, let's build a campsite. Uh, over there there we go 
place it there. All right. I should have enough junk on me to build that. Yep. I'm still hearing explosions. Let's warden outpost. There we go. Warden. Yeah. And let's get rid of some of this that we can get rid of. This is just going to be a temporary little place. Um... Let's get a container maybe no we don't have enough steel can we do something smaller we can do that that's wood okay we'll do a little wood one um, um, we don't have enough steel for a bed we can throw down a little sleeping bag let's put it over here by the fire there we go <laughs> I know I didn't throw down my thing and make it all um, components but oh well now, before we go do um, this quest with Dance, we're going to go get our power armor. We're going to see if we can um, upgrade our power armor at all. I'm going to keep the mines on me. Okay. We're still a little bit over what I normally run. But. I think that'll be fine. And uh, even though it's late, we're going to try to head back to Sanctuary and get our power armor. Because uh, this sounds like a serious mission. Uh, these people do look military. Dude in those big power armor. And I recognize the... Um, the uh, the power armor suit the other dude was wearing. I'm not sure what the scribe Halen is. She's cute though. Um, but I guess we'll find out some more about these people as we go. I think we can make it back before dark. Oh, hello. Oh, that's something else I was going to talk about. Um, Nathaniel, despite um, oh, eight missiles, that's going to be heavy, but uh, despite it being 200 years after the war, a lot of times I play two ways. One, either 
my main character was retired if it's uh, if he's a male character he was retired from the military or he was still in a he was still in the active military he was just on leave um you know maternity paternity leave or whatever you know or just regular leave or something he was either on leave or he was retired and uh, i i gave his story in the beginning as he was stationed here uh, around fort hagen but he was aware of you know other military outposts and bases in the area this respawned really quickly i'm gonna take him uh, but that respawned real quick uh, so nathaniel is familiar with the military installations around boston um, because he was still in the military he was actively serving and he was stationed here uh, now he may not know every little um you know traffic checkpoint and all that but he would be familiar with the federal rationing site um uh, fort hagen satellite array fort hagen itself uh the sentinel site with all the nuclear bombs he would know all about those uh he would probably at this moment think that it's destroyed but you know when he runs across it in the galaxy he's not going to be surprised because he knows it's there now the checkpoints like the one he just ran through he's not gonna those are my salvagers he's not gonna know every one of those but he will be familiar with some of them so if i happen to know where one is and i just run across it that's why um because he would actually know you know we were set up here uh checking vehicles and checking people there may be something there and he would know that uh i thought i heard a buzzing maybe not there's a green glow right there and oh look there is a bug it's dead all right there we go antibiotics my friends What were you doing with a hairbrush there, sweetie? Um, I wonder if this is active or not. I think this is the one with the little eye bot. I can't remember. Yes, the eye bot. That you can't really do anything with, but he's there. Uh, done. One. Could be anything. There's a lot of them here. One. Two. I could pick this or I could get rid of some stuff. All right. The gamble worked. Oh, Mr. Gutsy. Okay, I'll take all your stuff. Now, why were you locked up in here with this dude, though? And what are you doing, little dude? Okay. Well, it is still getting dark. So we're going to head out. We got our landmark right over there that's drumlin diner so we're good as far as the landmarks go uh if i keep getting distracted we're not going to get there before dark but i mean who can turn that down you know All right, let's get the hell out of here. Is 
We'll wait till we get home to eat and drink. There's the APC. I think it's funny the APC has a lantern on it. Almost there keep going it's not quite dark yet actually it is pretty dark <laughs> little eye bot Okay, it is dark, but it's not that dark, so we made it home pretty quickly. Uh, let's toss out our workbench. Let's scrap what we got on us. A few things, not too bad. All right, pack it up. And let's drop stuff off. I can't see now. Let's go to sleep and then we'll drop stuff off. Um, now, I didn't have a bed because they kept choosing my bed. So let's go to the bunkhouse. Yeah, it's only 8 o'clock, so not too bad. All right, we got a salvage team back. That means we're going to get a beacon. It's raining. Of course it is. We need to eat and drink, so let's hit the fountain up over here. The well. The pump. The whatever. All right, what are we gonna eat this morning? Let's have some crispy squirrel bits. All right, let's make sure we don't have anything for our bank in here. Looks good. Looks good. Uh, let's pick up our salvage beacon. Where's it going to be? Right there, I think. Yeah. We got two of them. So we got one salvage beacon out right now. And let's drop off Floyd. Keep the mines. You know what? Drop off the caltrops too. That's uh, five pounds. Uh, I don't really need at the moment. Uh, put the addict all in there. We need four of those, I think. Uh, that's going to be too many. 
they are they are kind of heavy they weigh one a piece so they are kind of heavy uh we don't need 28 water Okay, that's good. Uh, went through those already. I need all that flamer fuel. We're up to 86 now. That'll last a little bit. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be in tight quarters and... and um, Arc jet, so I don't want to bring a missile launcher. That's asking for trouble. We only have 280 rounds for the minigun. Hmm. We could bring a flamer, but um, I don't. I think we just need to save up our ammo for that right now. All right, these are 100s, so let's take the 250s and a 100 with us. All right, um, we've got plenty of ammo for what we got here. I'm still holding on to the frag mines for the door. Now, all the armor doesn't help inside the power armor. So I need to get... Um, I need to get uh, a container and just so I can store my armor and stuff. Even though a lot of people keep their armor on them when they step out of the, the um, power armor. I don't plan on stepping out of the power armor. Okay, let's have a look at... I still don't think we have enough to do everything we want to do, but... Uh, let's have a look. I can still only do a Model B. That's fine. Let's do that for now. Yeah, we're not going to have enough adhesive to do all of it. Uh, let's do military paint. Give me a bright headlamp. Let's do the other arm. They're the easiest to do because I don't have I don't have any of the um, you know punchy stuff uh, legs. Do we have no? We don't have enough. I need calibrated shocks, and we need science rank two for that. So. Chess piece. Uh, military paint. Uh, sure, we'll do a blood cleanser right now. And we don't have enough for any of this, so we're fine there. All right. So we have a military painted T-45 set of upgraded power armor. That's going to be nice. That's going to set well, uh, well with us in ArcJet, I believe. Um, all right, we got our fusion cores. We've got our ammo. I'm not going to change the ammo out or anything. Um, like I said, I'm not getting out of the power armor. So I'm going to drop this extra weight that I'm carrying in here for now. Which will be the army helmet, the gas mask, the backpack. Keep the fatigues. Put all the armor in there. And we're good. This will be our first true mission with our upgraded power armor. Here's our boy. Who, strangely enough, looks a lot like Maxon in this light. Who am I kidding? He looks way more badass than Maxon. Which he doesn't know Maxon yet. Um, bitch, we're not friends, and I want you to remember that. 
for the rest of your life. We are not friends. Okay, uh, let's take one of the 50s. And let's test our repairs out and see how it's going to look here. Oh, yeah. All right, now, it, does it show me in the armor? It shows me, yes, 690 ballistic, 490 energy, 1,070 rad. Very nice, very nice. I would love to take a big gun with me. I really would. I think I'm actually gonna grab the other fusion core too. I just wanna make sure we got plenty. So we're gonna grab all the fusion cores. Uh, that puts us up to 134. We could drop, uh, let's drop 338. Uh, we can drop another 200 actually. Okay, that's good. The rest I'm keeping. Um, I doubt I go through 243 shotgun shells, but you never can tell. Uh, 10 mil salt. Um, I'm not going to bring that in close quarters. And honestly, I don't see anything else that I really, really want to take. I would love to take the minigun or the flamer, but I just don't have enough ammo for either one. Uh, five mil, we have 280. I don't even think that'll fill it up. And then flamer, we only have 86 fuel. And... Wait a minute. Give me the... Uh, did I put my fusion cores? Yeah, I did. I'm an idiot. Okay. Now, we have 44 missiles, um, but it would have to... I don't think it's worth carrying the weight all the way there. I just don't think it's worth it. So, we're going to go with our regular weapons. Let's give it a save here. We're uh, we're at it. We're a little over an hour. We're going to pick the APC up, and we're going to go to Cambridge, and that's where I'm going to call it. Um, but, yeah, I think we'll be just fine right now with uh, Chosen Weapons. And the more I think about it, the more I actually like the idea that Nathaniel would have had knowledge of power armor you know even though he was an engineer <laughs> you and Preston bitching about the rain man oh. um, but I do like the idea and it gives me just a little bit more uh, comfort that he's in power armor we may survive a little bit longer not sure on that one stray bullet could take him out easily even in power armor we know this but um I kind of like this a little bit better. Now, this also means we're going to burn two fuel instead of one. So we're going to try not to do a lot of traveling while wearing power armor. Um, I think actually we're going to need other yes there we go and i didn't say before we used it hopefully we don't crash
as time goes on, I'm going to build up Cambridge um, and that outpost a little bit better. I'll probably have to go through and just disable a bunch of stuff that's around there, like the car, those containers and stuff that I just can't scrap. I'll probably have to disable them, so I'll be very careful doing that. But I'm going to try to clean up around there, and we're really going to make it look like a military outpost. Um, which means I'm going to have to get a supply line set up there somehow and get the supplies. And here we are at Cambridge. But yeah, a lot of the stuff I'm just going to have to disable, like this crappy stuff here and um, probably some stuff in here. I might want to combine some things together, block some of these off because these are entrances and exits. And just see what we can do. Is this still... Oh, uh, it's still there. So yeah, we're not going to mess with that. But yeah, I want to make this look like an actual real outpost. Uh, okay, so for now, like I said, we're going to get here and we're going to call it. I'm going to save it. And on the next one, we will continue on with ArcJet and the Brotherhood's quest line. And we're going to get some Radiance from the Brotherhood after that as long as we survive. And we'll start doing some Radiance. We'll level up quicker and get to where we need to be as far as being able to build workshops and stuff like that Whew, we got some good stuff done today i'm happy uh i'm happy with uh, what we got done in the vid <clears throat> i will catch you guys on the next one i hope you're having a great sunday and continue to have a great sunday and uh we'll see you later thank you very much